from the home of the Spirit Quartz book and I took South Africa. Now here we have a Spirit Quartz. Well first of all let's go with the form. Central Quartz crystal surrounded by smaller ones. Uh, color is usually determined by what happens around the outside edges. So here we're looking at a, a black to a gray. See a little starburst there as well. In this particular material I'd expect to find tiny pyrite cubes trapped inside. I don't see any uh, uh, from here, so I would look under magnification to find those. Coloration is quite appealing on these, where you have the grey, and then as a matrix, almost a yellowishness, some may say citrine. Uh, this would be an uh, inclusion of uh, hematite come girthite in stages of oxidation in some of the sections, and some sections even appear almost red as we uh, when we go through into that section, for instance. That's more... Let's just see if we can underexpose slightly. Very, very difficult to photograph this particular material. The color just doesn't take well to, to photography. Maybe my background, I should actually photograph these against the black background. From a display point of view, lovely constellation, lovely form. Going around like that. Then we look in. From a quality point of view, I don't see there's a slight nick on that point. Uh, pretty, pretty perfect otherwise. All the way from South Africa, uh, spirit quartz from the deposits of Bukinotukens around. Uh, maybe a smoky spirit quartz.